Straight ahead on 6 News, a radio station is expanding in our area, but the name of the group behind the call letters is raising some questions. Investigative reporter Crispin Havener explains. Nicole Pacino takes a visit to a church struck by lightning over the weekend. She'll give us a look at what's left of it. Plus, a local woman is pushing for an ADA accessible kayak launch at a local reservoir. We'll tell you how, she, how you can help and the unique reason she wants to do it. Six News. Coverage you can count on starts now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. We'll get a look at your forecast in just a moment to see if there is any more rain on the way. But we start in Somerset County, where a radio station is boosting its power to get a wider audience. Their intended message, though, is raising questions. Six News investigative reporter Crispin Havener explains. Crispin. Yeah, Jen and Sean, WHYU-FM in Myersdale is run by the American Militia Association. They say their mission is to support and defend the Constitution by training and arming the people of the nation. They've been broadcasting on a low-powered frequency, but recently started broadcasting on a hill overlooking Salisbury, Somerset County, on a full-powered FM station that can be heard between Winbur and Deep Creek, Maryland. Robert Kluver is the president and founder of the American Militia Association. His group's goal support we the people by training and arming the people of this nation. But he says that militia term has a negative image attached to it that doesn't represent his nonprofit. He says through education, research, public safety, and public service, they try to teach everyone about the Constitution and your rights to protect yourself. And the music and talk on the station, he says, fit that patriotic model. The American Militia Association is not a national militia group, okay? It's not a militant organization. We have no command leadership structure or anything like that. What we do is we promote community involvement. We had some people already that they're definitely not gonna be on our station that are kind of uh, extremist related uh, and there's gonna be no extremism on our station. I'll show you more of their program, including some that Kluver says isn't one he wanted to say too much about because it's not appropriate for daytime hours. We'll also show you what the future is for WHYU. That's all coming up at 6. Reporting live, Crispin Havener, 6 News. We got a lot of rain overnight, and then it's...